we're going to have a quick look at comparing decimals. Um, so if I asked you which is bigger, uh, 25,39 or 25,41, hopefully you'd immediately be able to tell me. And one of the things that you can think about is if you think about it in terms of money, which would you prefer? And there it's immediately obvious that this one, right, 25 Rand 41 cents is more than 25 Rand and 39 cents. The fact is that you have the 4 here versus the 3 there. What you have there doesn't matter to you at all, right? Once you know that you've got a bigger number, the 4, in the f that place than there. And that's really what we're going to be looking at when we look at this stuff. Let's look at it more thoroughly in um, more complicated examples. So let's imagine I ask you to take these numbers, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 3, 5, and 6, 3, 1, 9, and write them in descending order. That means to write them from biggest to smallest. Now, what I find very useful is to put them all into a place value table. So let's do that, and I'll explain why. So 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 3, 5, and 6, 3, 1, 9. Now, the reason why the place value thing is very important is because... Place value tells me what these actual digits mean. And place value, look, thousands are the biggest, right? So if I had anything in these thousands column, the thing that's the biggest in the thousands, that's going to be the biggest number. It doesn't matter what the rest of it is. If it's got the biggest thousands, it'll be bigger. If similarly hundreds, right, are bigger than tens, tens are bigger than units, etc. Now let's have a look. Remember this is exactly what happened when we went into decimals too. Remember the units are like this green block here, the whole thing, right? Whereas the tenths are when you cut that green block up into ten pieces and so tenths are these little blue stripes. And even if you have nine of the blue stripes it's still not as big as one unit. So the units count more than the tenths. If you've got m bigger units, you're a bigger number, no matter what tenths you have. Similarly, what are the hundredths? The hundredths are when you took that whole big square and you cut it up into a hundred little pieces. And then the hundredths are all those teeny weeny little pieces. Now again, even if you had nine of those little hundredths, it's still not as big as a tenth. And it's definitely not as big as a unit. So the hundreds are these tiny little things. They don't count very much. So if you've got bigger tenths, you're a bigger number. Doesn't matter what's in your hundreds. And of course, when you get to thousands, that even gets worse, right? Thousands would be when you take the block and you cut it up into a thousand pieces. We couldn't even draw that because really trying to show you thousands would be teeny, teeny little pieces. And they really don't count for very much at all in terms of how big the number is. So that means if we have it like this in this table here, we can make the comparison easily. So we start off no thousands, so that's easy, no hundreds, no tens. In the units, well, they've all got the same number of units, so that doesn't help us decide what is the biggest. But what about the tenths, because that's the next biggest bit of the number? Well, in the tenths, there is just one of them that has four tenths. The rest have three. And if you've got four tenths, you're definitely bigger than all the rest. Doesn't matter what's happening in the hundredths place, in the thousandths place, four tenths is bigger than three tenths, and so the four tenths number is bigger than the other. Okay, so we've eliminated that one. We know that that's number one, so let me just cross that out so we don't try and look at it again. And now we go into the hundredths column. Now, the hundredths column... This one has got nothing in the hundreds, and if it helps you, just put a zero there. So this has got nothing, this has got one, and this has got five. So which is the biggest? It's this one, right? So this one has got five hundredths, it's the next biggest. This one has got one hundredth, it's the third biggest. And this one has got no hundredths, it's the fourth biggest. This little thousands didn't actually really count into our, our, our thinking about things because the thousands are so tiny and we already could compare everything just in terms of the hundredths. So we start from this left-hand side and we carefully compare on each of those and that will help us determine which is the biggest number. So writing it into descending order would mean that we need to take the biggest number first 
So we'll write 6 comma 4 is first. Then after that, the next biggest number was 6 comma 3 5. The next one was this one, 6 comma 3 1 9, because it had 100 in it. And then the smallest number was just plain old 6 comma 3, because it didn't have, it had 3 tenths, but it didn't have any hundredths.